Hello YouTube. Um, here we are again at Average Joe's. We um, basically, I was put a posting on this. I didn't think of it as much, but someone had recommended because of the simplicity of it, I should do it. And I said, okay. Um, this uh, came up as a result of a couple of different postings of others that uh, basically came up with a, a uh, very sturdy bench grinder table. Um, other than the chintzy crap they give you that has, you know, plastic and crap in there. Anyway, um, I made this real simply, some stock quarter inch by three by three angle iron. Uh, this is an old piece laying around. Uh, so basically what I did was I, I cut off two hunks of it. I don't know, this... I really just eyeballed it. I didn't really do much with it. I made it in a, a template out of cardboard um, to get an idea of the dimension based upon my screws that are uh, holes that are mounted in the base of the grinder, which is a Ryobi 6 inch thin, thin line. Um, but this is probably very overbuilt for what it is. But it's just basically simple uh, premise uh, that there's a hole and a slot. The slot is radius to allow this uh, to swing up and down, allows this whole part tilts like this, allowing one axis of movement, um, radiusing around uh, closer to and further from the uh, from the uh, grinder. Uh, I, I can, yeah, it's not all mounted, but basically that uh, will will tilt up and down. Um, then I put another slot that's radius slightly inside here on the up and down vertices and then on the inside of the angle iron piece that's on the bottom that's clamshelled it's radiused in this direction so it, it goes as far in Let's see if I can catch that uh, it goes right about to here so it basically with a nut welded on to this little piece of stick that I just quickly jammed out uh, you get a lot of movements you bring it up, tilt it forward in for grinding, blades, whatever you want to do. You could, uh, if you wanted to, you could slot this and bring it in and out a little bit. Uh, you know, it's however you want to make it to your desire. Uh, um, this is pretty set up for, you know, my basic blundering in the shop. Um, and just to basically set this up, I uh, just tighten this ever so slightly till it's an ear tight. And uh, by giving it a little turn to the south, and then it clamps in place. It's really simple. So, um, yeah, this is not, I, I, I can do a how to video piece by piece, but I think it's pretty self explanatory the way it is, to be honest with you. Um, basically, vertices up, vertices across one radius back here and a fixed point here that's it there's not much to it i even took a, a dedicated wrench so i have it it's basically this is a magnet um with the degrees of angle on it it's all set up um it extends under there i i'm not sure if i would use that as a true estimate of of uh degree but uh gives me a spitball idea it will move with the whole piece this way um, but it's the only reason why it's there it's close to where my welding table is which is covered with crap anyway looking for uh, viewer videos from me uh, I sent some stuff on some weld fume extractors little shop things that you can make uh, to make your job easier uh, again thank you so much for subscribing uh, if you could hit that like button and subscribe that would be great thank you so much